Hey everyone, how's it going? It's time to start off with another fun Godzilla video, and in today's video I'm going to be drawing the full body of the pink Godzilla from the new Godzilla, Kong, The New Empire. Let's hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with the new Godzilla from Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire, let's begin by drawing the face. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to begin by making a line that's just going to go down, and then I'm going to bring it back here. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go over, and then it's going to curve up for the eye. Then I'm going to make a few little curve lines back here. And then I'm going to make a little line that's going to come down here. Now I want to leave some space, and I'm going to make a line that's going to go out. Then I'm going to come up, and then back here. And then right out here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out, and then it's going to go down. I'm going to bring this down to about here. Then I'm going to make this line come up. We're going to go down, and then down again. I'll draw a line that's just going to curve down here for the nose. And then I'm going to bring this line down, and then I'm going to come down here like this at an angle. Then we'll curve this down and up for the chin. Then I'll bring this over and then up here. Right here, I'm going to make a little curve line for the back of the mouth with a couple little extra lines in there. And then I'm going to fill his mouth up with some sharp teeth. So I'm just going to draw some sharp teeth right across the top and across the bottom. Then I'll draw a line that's just going to curve down and then up, and we'll bring it back for the tongue. Next, I'm going to make a couple little curve lines for the neck. And then right back here, I'm going to make kind of like a broken line that's going to come down. Left a couple little spaces in there, or I guess just one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make just a couple little spikes that just go right across the back here. Next, I'm going to bring this line down and kind of curve in for the chest. And then I'm going to kind of continue these broken lines back here. Right here, I'm going to curve a line that's going to come down. And then I'm going to bring this line down here at an angle. I'm going to make this line come down to a point and back. Then I'm going to make this line come down to a point and back. And this one down to a point and then bring it in. Next, I'm going to bring this line up here, and then I'm going to curve it up for the arm. And then I'm going to bring this line down and up, and then kind of same thing, down and in, down and in a few times for some texture. Now, starting here, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come down at an angle and then back down here. I'll put a couple little curve lines right here, show some wrinkles. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down to a point and then over. Then we'll do another one that comes down to a point and over. Then I'll do one right here and bring this line over for the bottom of the foot. Next, I'm going to bring this up and then curve it in. And then right here, I'm going to bring this line up here and make a few little broken lines. Then 
Next turn here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down, and then it's going to go straight down. We'll do that same thing here. We'll just add two lines to kind of make it look like there's a wrinkle. Make a line that comes down and over, down and over here. Then starting here, I'm going to bring this line down for the other arm. We'll make this line come down to a point, down to a point, and then one more right there. I'm going to make a couple little wrinkle lines here. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. Then I'm going to bring this all the way up here. Next, I'm going to bring this line down, and as I get to here, I'm going to bring this line just kind of straight down, but I left a lot of space here. Then I'm going to make a few little curved lines, and maybe one more here. And then I'm going to bring this line up, and I'm going to end it right here because i got to add some more detail on there. Now, on his tail, he's going to have some different little spikes on here than usual. So I'm going to begin by making a big point that's going to come up and down. And then one more here. I'm going to bring this line around to here. Then I'm going to make a big line that's going to come up and down here. And up and down there. Now, right across the back, I'm going to add just some extra little spikes on our Godzilla here. I'm just kind of making some small kind of curved triangle shapes. Next, I'm going to start off with some bigger ones now. So I'm going to make some kind of the traditional jagged kind of pointed Godzilla spikes. Usually these are going to have about three to four points on them, sometimes more. And I'm just kind of getting a small layer of them down first. As I get down towards the tail, they're going to get a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of add quite a few small ones down here on the tail. Then I'm going to start making some bigger ones. You can see I'm just kind of going up and down, making these big jagged points. He's going to have a really big one right up here, so we're just going to make lots of points. You can see some of the points curve this way, some curve back in. And then we're just going to add a few more here. Then I'm going to get a, kind of a bigger one right up there, too. Now along the tail, I'm just going to kind of fill in some of these empty spots here with a few more spikes. So now here's our basic shape of Godzilla. We want to come in and add some of the different details. So I'm going to come right across here and I'm just going to add some points right above his eye here. I'm going to make some kind of jagged pointed lines that are going to come down here and a few more little broken lines with some points. I'm going to make a line that's going to come down here, and then another one. And a little line right there. We'll bring some little kind of broken lines right around the mouth. And then I'm going to make some kind of curved lines coming up the neck and the stomach. A little broken line here, and another one here. I'm going to make some kind of broken lines that come right up here. And then I'll add some little curves onto each of the toes, the claws, and the toes. And I like to add a little extra line or two for some wrinkles. I'm going to make kind of like a jagged pointed line right here. He's got this extra spike now on his elbow. And I'm going to make some of these long kind of broken curved lines coming around the arms here. 
And then we'll even add these kind of broken lines coming up the arms as well. We'll make some little curved lines, different lengths right here for the knees. And then we're going to make some kind of long broken lines coming up and some long broken lines kind of coming across here. I'm going to make some long lines coming down and then some lines across here. A few extra lines on the arms. And a long broken line here. I'm going to make some long curved lines right here. And then some lines kind of down the tail. And then I'm going to make some little extra lines on all these spikes here. So I'm just going to make some long ones on here. And I'll put a few extra ones on here. And some lines down the tail. And I always like to add a few little extra lines on these curved parts. And there you go, there is your drawing of the new design for Godzilla in the new Godzilla and Kong, the new Empire movie. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.